Hello, welcome to another episode of the Pull List Examiner. This is my weekly video where I take a look at my pull list and I share my entire pull list. You can find that in the description of the video below. But in this video, I specifically look at my top three picks of the week for New Comic Book Day. And this week, New Comic Book Day is March 2nd, 2022. So thanks for tuning in. I don't normally do this, but this week I wanted to have an honorable mention. There's several Devil's Reign event books coming out this week, so I wanted to just mention those as my honorable mentions. Specifically, Chip Zdarsky is writing Daredevil Woman Without Fear, and a new issue of that comes out this week. But let's jump into my number three first. Number three this week is going to be Arkham City, The Order of the World, issue number six. This is something I've already mentioned in a previous video and has been my pick of the week before. The artwork is just amazing. It's this really gritty feel with a dark mood that wraps through the entire issue. And with this issue, we are now hitting the final issue, which will be the climax of this plot line. And I have to say that the cliffhanger where they left us in the last issue is pretty interesting so spoiler alert you can click forward here if you don't want to hear but dr joy the main character has now reunited with all of her inmates from arkham her patients and they ended up at this old abandoned warehouse that was being ran by professor pig so if you know professor pig you know that this is going to be an interesting last issue. So I'm looking forward to see how they conclude this series. It's been a great series, probably one of the best series I've read over the last year. And my number two pick for this week is going to be Star Wars High Republic issue number 15. And I don't normally talk about spec books on this channel, but I will mention that this book has been getting some hype because there is the first appearance of a character uh, that they're calling the Leveler. And the rumor is that the Leveler is a creature created by the Sith, possibly, and it drains force powers from the Jedi. So at this point in the story, they're flying back to the Starlight Beacon, which is this giant space station and Avar Chris who's really the lead Jedi here and Keeve Trennis who is probably the other uh, big Jedi that's taking a big role in the, the story are coming back and all of a sudden there's an explosion on the, the, the starlight beacon so there's a scramble to go figure out what's going on people are evacuating but at the same time this creature showing up and we're gonna find out in this issue exactly what this creature can do probably and uh, hopefully we find out even uh, some bigger or deeper secrets uh, about what's going on with uh, the overall plot line and the battle between the Jedi and the Sith in this prequel series and if you haven't picked up the book I highly recommend uh, the first book in the series Light of the Jedi kind of gives you a big setup for the entire High Republic uh, era and it's definitely worth checking out if you can and my number one pick for the week of March 2nd 2022 is going to be Batman Killing Time issue number one this is a series written by Tom King if you are not aware, Tom King took over for Batman during the Rebirth era, and he was the writer up until, I think it was issue 86, 87 in that range when Tinian took over, and I actually spent uh, about a year during the COVID era going through uh, and collecting the various issues from the Tom King run. and. I was able to read the entire story from the first issue all the way to the end and I actually liked it. I know there's some controversy in the comic book world about the Tom King run, but I think he did a really good job. I've been enjoying his continuation through the Batman Catwoman series and now it seems like we're going to be getting what appears to be a prequel from him through this Killing Time series. So. 
I'm interested to see what he comes up with and excited because if it is as good as his run was and it's as good as the new Batman Catwoman series has been, I think we got another hit and it's a six issue mini series. So it's a fairly low commitment as well. Thanks again for watching the Pull List Examiner. If you have any recommendations for me to read, please leave them down in the comments below. Click the like button, click the subscribe button, and uh, tune in next week when I come back with my top three picks for the next new comic book day. And remember to read them, bag them, and board them. Have a good week.